I've been in the wine business for over 25 years. And in that time, I like to think I've learned to sell wine to pretty much anybody. So when the producers asked if I was interested in showing off my skills to an enthusiastic new audience, well, I assume they meant I'll be talking to Bispam WI about Gruner Veltliner or Reading University Rugby Club about modest white burgundy. But of course, with a wine show, things are never quite what you expect. China, a country of 1.3 billion people. That's a lot of potential wine drinkers, especially here in its most cosmopolitan city, Shanghai. This is my first time in Asia, and I'm feeling a sensory overload. My job is to sell wine to restaurants. I think I understand how food relates to wine, but the tastes and flavors here make that concept terrifying, which is unfortunate because in 24 hours' time, Yang Lu, China's leading sommelier, will challenge me to pair Chinese wine and food for a VIP customer, Jerry Liao. I'm not sure my palate will be up to this. To be honest, it's bloody difficult. I work in China for a long time, and I'm still learning my way into Chinese food and wine pairing. I can't overestimate the scale of this task, so I'm traveling the length and breadth of Shanghai to do some homework. I've been invited to wine shop Ruby Red to host a tasting to see if my Western flavor descriptors are common across cultures by wine buyer Flora Wang. I would say some of the common misunderstandings of the uh, experts coming to Shanghai or China trying to sell their wines is a lack of the understanding of the Chinese palate. They would describe a wine in a very traditional Western way. Should we try some white wine? OK. We'll get, it'll be really interesting for me to know how you find it and the sort of flavours and characters. So we're going to start with a Pauline Moraché yes, from Vincent Girardin, which right. is very nice. Now, you do start having a, a sniff and a swirl. Does anybody have initial impressions of what this smells like and tastes of? My Mandarin isn't really up to scratch, so Flora kindly translates. What sort of nut characters do people get? This gentleman's having, I think. Mm. Any sort of nuttiness? Mm. They don't get it. Nobody, they, nobody no, gets they don't that. get it. <laughs> and, and then this, the idea of sort of toasty, buttery character. Not really. There are some flavours I'm getting that I'm the only person at this table who's getting them. Yes, you're right. It's not going to be as easy as I thought. Any other flavours that people are getting that I might be totally unfamiliar with? Yu uh -huh. highlights the first hurdle I'll need to overcome. So that gentleman actually brings us out uh, a subject that's very interesting. Mm -hmm. Sometimes uh, it's hard because it's a Western knowledge. Mm -hmm. So the way is, actually, we get into the wine word, we follow the instructions set up by the Western people. We have to know, OK, what is violet means in why? Because we never, ever maybe smell a live, a, a real violet in a garden. We smell violet in the wine glasses. So the, the, the first experience of violet might be in Why a wine. In a wine. How interesting. Yes. Well, it's a good description for me. <laughs> Brilliant. Should we try some red? This is one of my favourite wines, Chianti Classico. Does anybody get that sour cherry aroma? <laughs> so that gentleman, he knows he's supposed to deliver those aromas to you, but honestly, he doesn't smell cherries. <laughs> How do people find the tannic? You know, it's a more tannic wine than you find elsewhere. More like the tannin rather than the acidity. How interesting. So the idea is that tannins are a thing that people get into, where the acidity is the challenge. Yes. Because in the West, it would be the other way around. Is that because of the tea drinking culture within in China and because people are much more used to tannins in tea? I mean, do, do, Agreed. Do you, do you find that? And what sort of tea would you drink? Very strong. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everybody, so much. It's been absolutely fascinating. It's really kind of you to come. Thank you very much. Right, off we go. Thank you. That tasting proved how much I have to learn, but it also reminded me that there's another drink in which tannins and acidity are also vital. I've come to Ming Lu Tea Studio to meet tea master Echo Jia. I want to understand how the Chinese palate is shaped by this ancient obsession. Fortunately, Flora is on hand to translate. To succeed in my wine challenge, I'll really need to get to grips with the language. Ni hao. Ni hao. Ni hao. Pleased to meet you. Thank you very much. So, Joe, today we're going to have you a tea tasting. Okay. 
。今天是一个比较轻松的喝茶的过程，所以呢，就我第一个就准备了一个很简单的。麻烦夫人可以跟他讲一下，我待会准备一下。So now， 小心烫。It's your first try of the aroma. So you do is you smell the color first and then the cup. The similarities to tasting wine are apparent, but it's the descriptors that I need to get right. It's very fresh. It's very fresh because it fruity, is fruity, leafy smell. Yeah, that's right. It's、um, a little bit grassy, a little bit fruity,、uh, yeah. very fresh and 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 new. What terms would Echo use to describe the flavors in this tea? 主要的香气就是因为这个茶是新做的，所以呢，他刚才有一点说很对，真的会有一点青草的味道，感觉。Grassy. This is grassy. This is because it is、uh, it is very new and very fresh made、yeah. tea. Next up, a masterclass in Mandarin, a subject I didn't take in wine school. This tea's name is called Bai Mu Dan. 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 Yes. That's it. I have to remember this now. Yes. And now、uh, Echo is going to pour you the next one, which is a lovely green tea. What's this called? Xi Hu Long Jing. Xi Hu Long Jing. The the lid again. Yes. That is very green bean. Very green bean. Now you get it. And a bit of green asparagus. Oh yes. There is a certain savour inside yeah, of this tea. Yes. Flora, I am going to be using tea tasting terms when I get home to describe wine. I'm, oh yes, I, I can't not do it now、oh. because they they're so accurate. Now it makes sense to you. Echo, thank you so much. 不客气，谢谢。Thank you. So I've tasted wine. I've sampled tea. Eating is next on my to-do list. Top sommelier Yang Lu has agreed to meet me in advance of the challenge to be my food tutor. And、whilst I'm relieved he'll do the talking, I've no idea what he's ordered. For me,、uh, when you come to a country like China, we have、uh, over one billion people. There are so many different type of cuisine. People have from different region have different taste. It's not only peri peri dish.、Yeah. It's about peri people. Okay. You have to think in our perspective. What we want. What we like. What we prefer. Well, that makes everything. So much bigger. It's important. You have a fabulously complicated job, don't you?、Uh, for, for Chinese sommelier, it's the best time, and it's the most difficult time now. <laughs> What sort of things have you ordered? Spicy ones. I mean, this is、uh, one of the most classic, traditional Sichuanese food、yeah. in Tang. And,、uh, you will have some surprise here. I hope you like it. What do we、Thank、have here? Thank you. Take a guess.、Right. Is this a frog? It's a frog. This is a frog. Yes. Right.、Yeah. Come on, I'm gonna to have to try this. So this is a spicy Sichuan frog.、Mm -hmm. Oh, that's spicy. It's really spicy. Yeah, I like that. All of a sudden, my antipathy to eating frogs has disappeared because it's really good. <laughs> Matching this with wine is going to be a challenge just because of the sheer. It's not fiery spice, but it's very flavoursome. Yeah. It needs a lot to go with it. If I'm a person from Sichuan province, the more spicier for me, then I want to bring that up. up. So, so then I want more alcohol to、exactly. go and bring that spice. This becomes the challenge. The lady's bought another dish,、mm -hmm. and this is a real thing in Chinese food. You don't just sit and eat that. It's not、exactly. having steak and chips, and that's all you're having. No, for my challenge, this now becomes a huge problem. It's a delicious dish, but that needs a totally different wine, to my mind, than that does. Exactly. They taste different. They smell different. They having different ingredients. It's、yep. very difficult to think how this works with wine. It is. Welcome to our world. <laughs> Chinese sommelier has a tough job. <laughs> Wow, I've just chewed into something that's incredibly pungent. <laughs> oh, countering this absolute delight, really gorgeous food, is a, kind of a terror, a panic that I have to match this with wine, which is the thing I'm meant to know lots about. And I'm, I genuinely, I've never felt quite so out of my depth. It's like day one at wine school. It genuinely feels like a completely impossible challenge to do. 